From cars that talk to us when we're lost, to houses that know when we're too hot or too cold, to phones that can take our vital signs and notify your doctor, mobile apps can do anything and everything. What do you want your app to do for your users? Answering this question will help you decide what data to measure and what insights you need. With Google Analytics, you have a variety of tools and capabilities to give you data about your business and audience so you can optimize your app for success. Be sure to spend some time thinking about what you need to know about how users interact with your app. What insights would help your app be smarter? For example, if by level two in a game you've already lost over 50% of your traffic, you'll need to take a look at what's happening for users while playing that first level. Depending on what the analytics show, you may want to add an additional tutorial or make the levels easier or shorter. Here are some other questions you may want to ask. How many installs has your app generated? How much does each download cost you? Where did your downloads come from? Are your users high quality and loyal to your app? Do you want to achieve a certain engagement time? If you make a few tweaks to your app interface, would people be more or less engaged? When's the best time to offer in-app purchases? What's your user retention rate? Whatever insights you're looking for, Google Analytics gives you the data you need. And Google Analytics integrates directly with AdMob, helping you understand your users and their behavior right in the AdMob interface. By implementing Google Analytics in your mobile app, you can start collecting data for things like audience analytics, attribution modeling, conversion tracking, and even remarketing. With Google Analytics, you can find out how often your app is downloaded and installed and how successful certain marketing campaigns are in attracting visitors. Want to know how users are finding your app? Google Analytics provides app-specific metrics so you can learn more about your user acquisition. Google Analytics helps you answer questions like, which operating system do my new users use and where are they located geographically? Which traffic sources are bringing the most new users? What is my cost per download broken down by each of my marketing initiatives? What's the ROI of my marketing efforts? You can access information about the campaigns that you're running via the Advertising and Campaign Performance Report. There you can find data about all traffic sources and gain insight into how many new users and downloads each campaign generated, the number of sessions that took place, the average session duration, as well as whether or not you're achieving your goals and generating revenue. OK, so now you have successfully gained new users and are growing your app downloads. But now what? After people discover your app, it's key to understand their behavior. How are they engaging with your app? What actions are they taking? Are they doing what you want them to do? What are they purchasing? How is this rel back, related back to their behavior? Answering these questions will help you monitor and grow your app's success. Google Analytics helps you do just this by defining user segments based on any metric or dimension being measured in your app. So using conditions and sequences, you can create segments that are as detailed and specific as you'd like them to be. You can apply these segments on all of your reports within Google Analytics. So here's an example. You can create a segment of users who have, say, spent at least $10 in your app and engaged with it at least once in the last 30 days. From there, you could apply this to any Google Analytics report, such as the e-commerce product performance report. And that will allow you to see which items the users are actually spending their money on. Another example, suppose you want to find out which section of your app is most popular. You can then use this information to create similar content. With the behavior reports, you can find lots of valuable information about user activity, from aggregate metrics such as average time spent on a particular screen, to the behavior flow, which helps you understand how users move between different screens, to the crashes and exceptions report. So let's say we're looking at the behavior flow report. What you might notice is that there are big areas where people are dropping off. So based on this data, you might try to improve these areas so that people are less likely to leave your app before completing the task you'd like them to. If you sell products in your app, be it via in-app purchases or on your own store, you'll also want to keep track of what people are buying. With the e-commerce functionality, you can gain insight into the customer's path to purchase, like when customers added items to the cart, began the checkout process, completed a purchase, and perhaps most importantly, 
identify segments of customers who are falling out of the shopping funnel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other AdMob videos, subscribe to our channel, and visit google.com/admob for even more information.